Hi all, this is Madhumita. I am going to explain you the Power Exchange Navigator Road Test. Let's get started. This is the agenda of this video. What is Navigator? Why we need to do a Navigator Road Test? Few resources of Power Exchange Navigator, configuration setup before performing a road test, and I will take you to a live demo where I will explain how to perform the CapEx and CapEx RT road test. Let's get started. What is Navigator? Why we need to do a Navigator road test? Power Exchange Navigator is nothing but a graphical user interface which will be running on Windows. And this Navigator is mainly used to define and manage Power Exchange objects and it is also used to run the database road test in order to verify whether Power Exchange can access the data or the change data extraction. These are the basic resources of Power Exchange Navigator Data Capture, Data Maps and Personal Metadata. Under data capture, we have registration groups, extraction groups and data maps. Registration groups are mainly used to capture the registration. Extraction groups are mainly used to extract the information for the data sources which are registered for that table. Data maps are mainly used to access a non-relational data sources such as IMS database, VSAM files, flat files and so on. Here are few configuration setup. We should add a note statement in the Windows DBmover file which is pointing to the Power Exchange listener on the source platform. Also make sure your environment variables are always containing the Power Exchange installation directory. Here I have attached the screenshot. This points to the Windows DBmover note statement which includes the IP address and port number pointing to my source platform where my listener is up and running and source dbmover node statement and here is a screenshot of my environment variable which contains the power exchange installation directory. Here are few steps to perform the road test. Make sure your source listener should be up and running. Also the source table gets the frequent changes. So first what I have done is I have created the power exchange navigator table and inserted few records to it. As I said before these are the few resources of navigator data capture. So uh, when we want to create the registration group you want to create a registration group as soon as you create a registration group the extraction group for that particular registration will be created. So I'll show you the extraction group. So once you create that you just double click on that and at the top you will find the road test option. Just click on that and choose the DB type as capex RT and the location as the node statement which you mentioned in the navigator and also click go. As soon as you click go, here are the results for your capex RT road test. It will contain the restart token 1 and restart token 2 and the values which you have inserted for that particular table. In the same way, when you want to perform a capex road test, choose the option as capex and the location as the node statement which you mentioned in the DB mover and click on go. As soon as you click on go, you will see the results displaying below. Here you can make a difference like the it will also have the two restart token uh, 1 and restart token 2 but in the capex road test the restart token 2 value will be less compared to the capex RT road test restart token 2. Also to add a note here when you do a capex road test it will read the data from the condensed files and if you do a capex RT road test it will read from the redo and archive logs and give you the output. For more information please refer to the document which is on the portal of the mentioned link. Also we would love to hear from you. Please send us an email at supportvideos at informatica.com or post us your queries on our Twitter account. Thank you.